Yes, people. Yes, people. Come on, come on, come on. It is the final whistle presented by Let Him Shoot TV. I am Deny. Come on, you know the vibes. Government name. And I'm here with... Khalid. Governor, Lil Goat, as you already know. That's not out here, boys. Come on, come on. Now, what is this? This week three, week four? Week four, I think. Week four. Week consistency, four. Yeah, yeah, consistency, yeah, yeah. consistency. On. We're getting, guys, it, we're getting it out there for you guys, man. But you guys know management came up and said Cadence needed to go up. So obviously you've got to put out more content. Come on, come on, come on. And it's a special time of the season at the moment. Yeah. Last week we talked about, you know, ESPN's list. And list. The oh, drama that stank, of that. <laughs> that stank. <laughs> and the drama of that. But it's it's transfer season, right? Transfer yeah, windows open. Usually it's a busy time. <laughs> it's usually, but not for us. Right now, what's going on right now in Probably world football? It's not, quiet. It's quiet, man. I mean, the biggest transfers at the moment, bro, is it Mbappe went for free. Yeah, Color Flory to Arsenal. Arsenal. You've got Endrick. Yeah, Endrick to, to mm, Madrid. Madrid. Like, Madrid. there hasn't been much. It hasn't been, not, it's not been exciting. It hasn't much. been much. It hasn't been exciting. So much. because we can't really talk about these amazing transfers, these exciting transfers, I want to actually look at the most expensive transfers of all time and rate them expensive transfers. So one through 10, let's look at what are the most expensive transfers? Were they successful? Yeah, Were yeah, they yeah. flops? Yeah. Was it worth the money? Where are they clubs now? Where are the players now? Like there's a lot of questions that I have. Bro, there's some transfers that have been shocking, man. All the, uh, people pay a lot of money. People pay these. a lot of money. <laughs> it's crazy. People pay a lot of money. A lot so of for, money for so production's giving me a list here, crowd. Production's giving me a list here of the top 10 transfers, yeah? And to give you guys a bit of background on this, the record kind of started in 2017. So from the top 10, they from 2017 until now. And who is that? Like, We're going to find out uh, soon. We're going to find out soon. So what's that? That's four. That's about seven years. It's about seven odd years of just- Transfer records. Transfer records being beat after beat. Like pause, pause, pause. Records you're, you're, have been you're, beat. You forget, you forget. It started with even like Andy Carroll to 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 Liverpool fam. That was a shit transfer. Man. That was a shit transfer, but it was it was a world record at the time. At the time, was a world oh, record. Oh my days, man! So before Bro. we kick this in, before we lock in, before we lock in, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. The more you guys like, if you, I'm actually wait, pause, like this video right now because. The more you guys like the videos, yeah. the more content we're going to issue out. We've got and some big sure, plans. And make sure you comment down below. Don't forget the comment section, boys. We want to hear your <laughs> thoughts down there. Run you up the me? comment section. Run up the comment section. But to kick things off, yeah, at number 10, the number the 10th most expensive transfer of all time was Ronaldo, Real Madrid to Juventus. Now, we're going to operate in Euros here because there's a lot of European leagues. Usually, Real we can't- Madrid, you think that was- that was. The, Big. Number 10 was 117 million euros. Wow. In 2018. At that age as well. He was he was he was like almost getting like he was right he was in his 30s, definitely. He was in his 30s. He'd just gone on a run. He'd a won run. the treble oh, with he'd won trebles with um obviously not the treble, but he won three Champions Leagues in a row mm. with um with Madrid. With Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that man. Oh. And, he, and he, for me, it was a surprise. It was. It I was, was like, why is he leaving Madrid? He's got everything there. Yeah. I know. I think Zidane was his manager, <laughs> at, the manager time. at the time. Yeah, and he could have won more. He's going to Juve. I know sure. Juve is a bit more of a slower league. So obviously, as he gets older, he wants to play in a slower league. So he doesn't have to be as explosive and use right. his pace as much. But I thought it was a weird transfer. Nah, that was weird. It, w- it was weird, but it kind it kind of did work for Juve because they were struggling to win the league. Did it work for you, babe? Because at Juventus, you went went on to win two titles. That's what I mean. They were struggling. Two titles. They were struggling to win the league at the time, and he came and he did his thing. Ninety-eight appearances, yeah. eighty-one goals. Nah, playing the number nine position. A few Champions to League me, runs, but they didn't do. They were they went champ. They did okay in the Champions League. The thing is, I have with that one. Are you gonna pay one hundred and seventy mil just? For, for, for the league titles. You want to be paying that much to win, to win like, you know, it's Ronaldo. trebles though. But think about the marking that comes the mar- with Ronaldo. Yeah, true, the, true. the revenue just doesn't sit with the, with what's on the pitch. It's what's off the pitch as well. How many Juventus jerseys were sold? So, yeah. How many Adidas, the nah, commission nah, from Adidas right, came right. through? How many fans, international fans, how much did that increase at home games in yeah, but Turin? You, with Ronaldo, you get that with anywhere he goes. Man. That's what I mean. So you're going to get that. Even, even it? it is worth it because even now at Saudi, the, I, I've never seen... So, like people wearing Saudi leagues jerseys. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I've, I've never. No, 
Nah. Now everywhere you go, you see people wearing Al Hilal. <laughs> all these yeah, things. It's, it's, it's crazy. Little use. Little use. Saying, like, all of a sudden, it just it just blew up. It just from Ronaldo going to Saudi. Yeah, well, you know, it's crazy. It was crazy. the first, was the first, first of the, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this whole Saudi initiative here. Nah, but, nah, so nah, are we right. saying that Ronaldo, Madrid to Juve was a success? Yeah, yeah. You're saying it's a, it's success. a success. I think it's. I think it's out of. I, I, I think. I think it's a success. It's not a flop. It's not a success for me. It's not a success because they didn't go out and win the Champions League, which I think he was brought there to do. Yeah. So I would say that it was a moderate transfer. Obviously, 117 M's. Just is a lot him, of money, but landing Ronaldo in the first place is, is a win. It's a win. It's a win. No matter or no matter what team is a win already because you're not just profiting on the pitch. Off the, but pitch, off as the well. pitch as well. You're profiting. making a lot you're of money. You're making so much money. It's crazy. So uh, let's move on to number nine. At number nine, this was an English record at the time. Yeah, yeah. Jack Grealish oh, from for, Villa to Aston Villa, sorry, to Man, City. to Man City, 118 million euros. This was in 2021. Obviously, in that first season, he didn't quite have the best season. People were talking about was it mm. worth the money? Second season, he definitely was an X factor when it came to winning that treble. I don't know, man. Because I think when it came to winning that treble, the whole team put up. But Jack Lewis had a big, he had a big influence. I don't influence. know, man. For me, for me, that's a flop, man. He had a, okay. Obviously, it's, in year three last season, he didn't quite work even, out. He didn't play. He only played about yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 games, I think, in the end. Um, they didn't, they won the league, obviously. So he's got, he's got two winners. He's, only, he's got three winners medals. Winner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he, that, like, Grealish. Three winners medals, a Champions League, uh, FA Cup as well. Um, well. Wasn't in the England squad this year for the World Cup because he didn't play that many games and he wasn't in form. But are we saying it's actually a flop? It's a flop because when you look at him, at Aston Villa, right? He was doing. He was. The, he was that guy. He was the man. He was. He him. was the man. But with Man City, you've got too many that guy for him to be that guy. But it was you his. Know what I mean, like, for me, his input, his input, and his contribution in season two. Was yeah, crucial that, that, to Man City winning, winning that Champions League. league. Yes, but that's just one one, one season though. So as, I, as if you're paying for that much money, you're supposed to be getting a player consistent year after year after year. So we're saying that out of the three seasons he's been at Man City, one of them has been a success. One of two them, of them have been a flop. Flop. You you, you had fans screaming. Enough, what's, what, what's what's Grealish doing? Fair enough. I, I, I I'm not complaining here. I'm, I'm saying that one year was so. Yeah, but you that can't, one year you, holds so much. It's three years we're judging here, right? So yeah. let's say a third of the, a third of his time at Man City has been a success. I'm, I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm gonna say it's not a flop. Yeah, but when you, when you think about it, you're paying so much money. You but get, it's Man you, City, bro. It's, that's what I'm saying. They pay, it doesn't matter how much they pay. I don't know, man. Them ones, they got endless money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. 150 they, they charges, bro, they, 150. They've got, that old, they've got that old money, they could buy whatever they 115 want. 115 charges pending, so all these trophies may get wept away, but we're saying it's a flop. We're, we're actually saying it's a flop. It's a flop, man. Chat, let us know, but I'm telling you that that one was a flop because I don't know, I, I didn't even see what, what was the point of of them even buying him in the first place because then, they they had we had Mares, who was 10 times better. Even when he was playing on the other wing, they had Mares. Two two day is better than Grealish, and they replaced. And they re they got Doku now as well. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, it's, you may be you may be right on this one. <laughs> you may be right on this one, one man. But so we're saying it's a flop. But number nine, we're saying it's a flop. Number eight, Griezmann from Atletico to Barcelona. This was in 2019. Yeah, 120 one. m's euros. This one's a sticky one. It stinks, bro. It's Barcelona have done some terrible business. This one stinks, When we go man. through this list, Barcelona has done some terrible business. 120 for, Gre for Griezmann. For Grealish. For Grealish, yeah, for Griezmann, sorry. From Atletico. For In 19. Oh, hey, Barca, what are you doing, man? What, what are you even seeing, my man? In 19. You have to be getting And him, don't man. get me wrong. Two years prior, they had spent a lot of money on a couple other players. Yes, but we'll get to, we'll, we'll get to them they in did. a minute. But yeah, Grealish for 120 mil, and he hasn't quite produced did, did he, did at he all. Win, did he win anything? 
Uh, um, production, you have to let me know. Crowd, let me I let us know. know. I don't know if, if they man. won. No, they would have. They would have. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because if you're paying, I like, think this is the bar. This is the pure Barcelona just stunk it up. Yeah, I think so. I like, think. So. I don't know. Was he playing striker? Was he playing left wing? Was no. he playing attacking mid? Like, where was he actually playing in he, the squad? He was playing everywhere. I remember. And I remember, it was. I remember seeing him at left, right, center, forward. It's like it was. It's it stank. Like I didn't. And, and that's when Barcelona was struggling. Oh yeah, but they I didn't were even, struggling at that this time. This is pre-COVID as well. Yeah, this they is pre-COVID, so they go into COVID with, and then COVID obviously messed them up drastically. But like for me, this move, I didn't even know why he wanted to go to Barcelona. Oh, bro, it's Barcelona, man. Everybody yeah, wants to go there, man. Why, why doesn't my man go to France or go somewhere else? Yeah, Barcelona were shambolic it's, it's, at the they time. Were After Messi left, they were they were struggling. They were shambolic. They had at the so time. many old players as well at that time. Yeah, you know? like everybody was just. Going to retirement from was that peak at that time, man. So we're saying it's a flop. It's a flop. I think it's. it's flop. I, I think it stunk. I think that it's one a flop stunk, well. man. One hundred and twenty for Griezmann. I think it's a flop. Okay, number seven. Now, this guy is probably the laziest footballer I've ever seen, <laughs> but he is also the best, one of the best footballers I've ever seen play. He tore up the Premier League for years. He's known for never training. He's known for just doing whatever he wants. Low seven center of gravity. In 2019, Eden Hazard went from Chelsea to Real Madrid for 121 M's. Oh, that one stank. I think this is probably No, the, that one, no, you can't say probably. Because Hazard this has to be Madrid, man. Has to be the probably the worst. It is transfer the worst in transfer history. History. Yeah, like it the is worst. the worst. It, yeah. I don't know. Real Madrid. When you put price, you put player and profile, and you put Output. He was he, injured. He came, he became fat. He became like, fat. That's what I'm saying. He had no output. He became fat. And the he fans were getting on to him. He I, I, like you know when you go to the to the highlight reels, you would never see any highlights of him doing bits what he did at Chelsea. No, no way. Teams. You wouldn't. You would not see him that do, doing that at Madrid. No way. There, no it's way. Nowhere to be seen. No way. No. No way whatsoever. No this way. Is the worst. That, I think, that is the worst of all time. I'm not 100 percent crowd. Let us know what you think. But like. I think Eden Hazard to Madrid probably has to be one of the worst transfers ever. Ever, ever. Like, not like, no, not one of, the worst transfer ever. Nah, it's the worst. It may have to be the worst transfer ever because there was zero output. He was injured. They paid 121 M's. Like Perez got this one wrong. There was one season, I think it was a season as well where he was injured and he hardly even got time to play. And then he just became fat. But like for 121 M's, you got to do your homework. Yeah. Nah, you have to you do have your to. you have to do your scouting report. <laughs> you literally have to do your scouting report. Bro, if I'm paying that much money, I'm making sure I'm getting the best out of him. And I don't even know why, what what like they, they they see they saw in him because the, the player was on the decline, man. I don't know if he was on the decline. I don't know. He was he was on the decline. Dude, Hazard, he was he had Hazard just torn up. He had just torn up the Premier League. But sometimes it comes with the hype of the big teams. You know, people just know, like man. oh, Mama made that, and then that's it. They're like. Hazard was a terror. He terrorized the Premier League for years and he was easily one of the best players in the Premier League. Obviously, when Madrid comes calling, you answer that call oh, and you yeah, take it. Like Trent, Trent's going to Madrid. We all know that. Trent's going to Madrid. Cap, we know man. Alfonso Davis is going to Madrid. You know? Listen, so, Trent, I feel sorry for you. Trent, Trent is all, sorry for you, only man. leaving. Listen, this Trent is, is this only is, leaving. This isn't about Trent. Listen, this isn't listen. about Liverpool. No, no, no. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> all we're just saying is <laughs> Eden, Hazard, talk, man. Eden Hazard, he went from Chelsea to Madrid. He answered the call he, and the call when he got there, it stunk. It didn't land at all. 120 M's down the drain. Nah, he didn't do anything. And I don't even think they lost that money straight up. Because they he, did. he retired. Yeah, and he, still, he, he, he retired. He retired straight after that, isn't it? He retired after a couple of years of sitting on the bench. Years, yeah, He's yeah, retired yeah, yeah, yeah. now. At number six, we went to number six. Now, I think this one is recent. And I think it's, it's currently the English Premier League record, if I'm not mistaken. I think this was in 2023. After a World Cup campaign, that was great. Don't get me wrong. And I still don't understand with this one here, right? He's back in training. And, and the, it's the, all calm. Oh, that's <laughs> like oh. nothing happened. Like nothing happened. These that was people, crazy. The, the brothers are like, oh yeah, my brother. Bro, did you see did you even say they were like, oh, Fafana was saying we cleared things off, it's calm now. This like, is bollocks. Like what well, one fam? What? My man just <laughs> dissed me and I'm taking a Nah, this like, is this is crazy. Benfica to Chelsea, Enzo Fernandez, 121 M's. So tied with um Eden Hazard for money. 
because it's um because it's what's it called? Because it's it's fresher, it's newer, it's a, it's a more recent transfer. We're gonna put it at number six. To be so honest, I think this one stinks even more. To be honest, I see why Chelsea would pay that much money for him. He's a quality player. Don't no, get me he's wrong. not. He's I a don't quality. Think listen, he is. listen. What position Enzo, does he play? Is, is a midfielder. No, but what position does he play? He's no he's better a, than Gallagher. And they're, they're kicking Gallagher nah, out. man. He's Enzo, no better than Enzo, Gallagher. No, Enzo is a baller, man. Don't get me wrong. Enzo is he a is baller. He is no better than on Gallagher. On his day, I've, listen, I've seen, I've for Chelsea, seen the guy. For Chelsea. For Chelsea. He's dang. He is no better <laughs> than Conor Gallagher. And Conor Gallagher is now being banished from training. He's now being kicked out of the club. He's going to Atletico I, probably. I, I, I swear it's been agreed as well. Yeah, it has. It's, it's, it's been, yeah, he's not allowed to train with the first team, which makes, no, obviously it's right now, it's about, F, it's about well, not FFP, the new version of FFP to so yeah, make 100% yeah, profit. But Enzo Fernandez from Benfica to Chelsea off one World Cup campaign. And yes, the World Cup campaign gives you credit. When people have these amazing World Cup campaigns, you know, they go on to clubs, they get, they, they, it glamorizes everything. But he has not landed for Chelsea. Last season, the team was better off without him. When he was injured, they started to play better. He doesn't, for me, he's not an attacking midfielder. He's not a CDM. He can barely play box to box midfield in the prem. Nah, but he controls. He controls. He that doesn't. He, he does. Doesn't. I've seen him. Bro. Listen, I've seen the guy play. He he controls that midfield. He makes sure it's stability. No in the midfield. That it's, midfield is better with Conor Gallagher and uh, Caicedo. Um, that Gallagher. midfield and and bro, Cole don't, Palmer don't playing bring, the attacking. Bro, don't even bring Caicedo because if Caicedo is on that list, I'm walking out of this. <laughs> I'm walking out of this whole thing because that that no. has to be the worst. Run. Bro, Caicedo and nah, Conor man. Gallagher. This guy, Caicedo. Caicedo. And Conor Gallagher are a more effective midfield pairing than Enzo Bro, and Caicedo. Do you, do you know how many goals Caicedo gave Ca away last Ca year? He probably gave away. Bruv, He's the guy CDM. was clueless. Bro, he was passing the ball to strikers. What did Enzo do? Bro, it was, that's what I'm telling you. He was controlling their midfield. Endo, you most, were bright. Most, no, I'm, most of their play, if it wasn't for Cole Palmer, if he wasn't for as good as Cole Palmer was, Endo is at least second best player for me last season. For them. you are crazy. I am not crazy. I am you standing are, on business. You and are I, Chelsea fans. Let me know. Nico this guy Jackson. Is He's an Arsenal fan. I am telling I'm you. I'm not being biased here. Oh, Nicola Jackson is another version of Darwin Nunes. Nico Jackson had a better season than Enzo Fernandez. No way. No way. This guy couldn't Maduweki, even finish his dinner. Gusto was the second best player for Chelsea last Gusto, year. I agree. Maduweki Gusto, was better than Enzo. Gusto, I agree. But even Enzo. Enzo is a Enzo, Enzo did bits is for terrible, them. dude. He is not terrible. Enzo man. is a he okay, for Argentina, great. But in the Chelsea team or in Pochettino's Chelsea, he was terrible. The team was way better off without him on the pitch. Nah, you, you I don't know how you've been watching, man. You've been smoking some drink. The team was you. way better Bro, off without him on the pitch. Enzo no, Enzo, Enzo was that midfield. If you if it wasn't for him. Cole Palmer and all that would not have had a good seat. Yeah. I am being legit yeah. right now. Okay, well, we're, not, we're, not, Jackson, we're, not talking, we're not gonna talk about Chelsea like that, but what we're gonna do is, are we gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna rate man. this. We're gonna rate this transfer, right? In 20, so he's been there for two years. He moved over in January after the World Cup. Moved over in January, right? So half a season, a season and a half. Has he been a flop? Has he been successful? What are we saying here? I've, I've, for me, I'm sitting in the middle. Because I, I, I still think there's more to come from him. Yeah, but I'm not judging about more I'm, to come. Okay. I'm judging about two date right now. Today, it's been a, it's been, it's been a flop. Thank you very it's much. So today, what, today so, has been a so flop. Pause. But, so, but, but, no, 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 but, but you're not hearing my point. Go. It's not a flop because he is a flop as a player. I'm saying in like collectively as a team for Chelsea, they made him a flop. The way they're playing, they made him look bad. If you're playing, they, did not make listen, him look bad. they make him look bad. They did not make that, him look I'm bad. I'm telling you, that Chelsea team is a team full of mandem, fam. Mandem just want to turn up and take pictures <laughs> and go on holidays and take... Bro, that's all it is. And he's one of the... Bro, he's the only guy that I see that's actually fighting and doing bits. All the other players couldn't care less. They, all they want to go is go play football, go in there on their bus, go in there with the Lamborghinis, go out in London, go out clubbing. That's all Chelsea is. No, no, no. I am no, being I legit, fully disagree. Fam. What I'm saying hey, is- chat, let me know, because I am fuming right now, like, man. Every, everything you just told me, right, we argued about, or well, you argued that Enzo is this amazing player, is this he for Chelsea. He is amazing player. And then when I asked you if he was a flop or not, you said he was a flop. He, so no, he, production, he, just rewind not, all that not, stuff that you said he, and just take listen, it out. Listen, he's not a flop. He, he's, he's a flop. No, no, he's a flop. Flop, he's a flop, but he's not a flop because he's a bad player. I'm saying he's a flop because the, the team he's playing is yeah, he's but playing full of, he's playing with flops. Yeah, but Grealish is a bad is. player. And Grealish, we said Grealish was a flop. 
Yeah, but Grealish is not a bad player. Grealish we said he, nah. he's a flop. Nah, See what I mean? Grealish, it's like, you know, Grealish your agenda's off. Nah, your, 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 your agenda's Grealish. off. Uh, it's not off, man. Your agenda's off, but let's Sorry. move on. Let's move on. Come on. Let's hey, move chat, on. let me know, please, man. We're at number five right now. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. If you're here this long in the video, please comment down below what you think about Enzo Fernandez. Was he a flop at Chelsea? Or has he been a flop at Chelsea to date? Or are you siding on Khaled's side when he's talking about Enzo being this amazing player, but the team is just not operating around him. Yeah. I personally think that Conor Gallagher I, I, and Kaiseido have been a better midfield than with Enzo in the team, but we'll move on. I'm from telling there. you, if I was a Chelsea coach, I would build that team based on Enzo and Palmer. Well, we'll see what they do. His name is Enzo as well, the coach, so we'll see what he does. But um, at number five, Benfica to Atletico Madrid for 127 million euros in 2019. So, Jao Felix. He yeah, was signed love. young from, he was you really see, young from Benfica. You and he, see with this he's one, still yeah. young. Like if you think about his you age to nine, he's like You see with this one, yeah. I think this is one of the most overhyped transfer. I think he's an overhyped player. Oh, and transfer. Rah. Because he's so overhyped. I don't even see what's so good about him. I don't know what position he plays. I don't, I don't even I don't know. know. I don't know what position he but plays. I don't even know what, what, what. You know who he reminds me of? I'm not sure if he's a cam. I'm not sure if he's a number nine striker. I'm not sure if he's a winger. Like, I don't know what position he plays. Bro, the amount of hype that were coming out from this kid when he was playing ball, you would think they're about to be the next generation of Messi fam at that time. But he was Portugal's little wonder kid. That's a, oh no, not wonder kid. Like obviously he had Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, at the time as and well. Next up, he was probably the next big name. Mm, 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 mm. Nah, for me, for me, this that one's a flop. That one flopped hard. I, I honestly think too, because when you think about his career since Atletico, obviously better, Atletico about 127 mil. They've been trying to get rid of him for the last kind of three, four years. He's been on loan. He went to, he's been on loan to Barcelona a few times. Yeah, a few times, He's yeah. been on loan to Chelsea. And he stank. And like, yeah. He, and he didn't even look like- He didn't he, look he that looked, good. That's what I was, I was like, what's going on? He didn't look that, he had small spells at Barca. I don't know why Barca even tried to get him like with their financial situation. Like mm. it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, for a loan, you could see why they tried. They're still paying but, wages, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know. Like it just didn't work. Everywhere he go, he's, it seems like he's he's trying to get somewhere, but he's not really, it's not really working for and him. And he's, he's not that but old he's, though. He's, he's, that's what I'm saying, he's still young. He's still not that old. So he, he, has, he has time to he's, land, but I'm going to say that- so overhyped this one. This, this, I'm this, saying he's a flop. I'm saying from Benfica it's, to Atletico Madrid. It's such an overhyped transfer and overhyped player that I've seen in ages. And at the time, 127 M's, like that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for a kid at that time, he was, don't forget, he was yeah, only he was, a kid. He was a kid. He, he was, was a, a youth. kid at that time. He was a kid, but I'm going to say this one, a number four. Now this player, double footed, I think he's just like, I don't, I get frustrated with this player. He's so dynamic, the, like definitely pace and power with technique, left-footed, right-footed, ambidextrous. He can either be playing a nine out of 10 game or give you a two out of 10. <laughs> and nine times out of 10, it's a two out of, 10. A two out of 10. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts, right? facts. But when, it's on that, when, when he gives you a nine out of 10, you're like, oh my days. Bro, I Guzman. think you know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> Dembele, the thing is, yeah. Dortmund to Barcelona, 135 million euros in 2017. Yeah, this this is the guy that I call him. He's, I call this guy. He gives you one performance in one month, and then it goes <laughs> quiet. You know what I'm saying? Like the, all the credit card, all the works on one ATM, and then for the rest of the month is dead. That's 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 how I see. He's it, so man. frustrated, bro. This guy is so good on his day. So good, both footed. He can go left, right. You don't yeah, know, bro. He playing- shoots. He shoots with both feet, like bro. It, I remember watching him at Dortmund. Yeah, he's and easy. that Dortmund team was crazy under him. He is steezy. He is so good, bro. I was like, bro, this kid is gonna be a generational talent. When he was at Dortmund, I was like, bro, if 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 Klopp comes to 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 Liverpool at that time, I'm like, please bring me Dembele, fam. Dembele is please so bring good. me Dembele. He, he forced his move out of um, out of, Dortmund, out of to Dortmund to Barca, Barca bruv. Dortmund obviously made a lot of money on that deal, 135 million euros, 2017 as well. But again, like he's he's so good, like for France. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know. There's no consistent, like arguably one of the most, <laughs> not like, the most, like, I'm, saying, I'm saying arguably one of the most, I, I'm doing that a lot lately, which is I've got to stop doing that. But he's so inconsistent. He's either giving you an eight, nine, 10 out of 10 performance, 
once no. every. He will, he will give you a ten out of ten. Not even eight, nine. He will give you a ten out of ten performance. Or it's a when two. On his day. But when he it's, when he gives you that two, you are like, bro, get this man off the pitch it's now. So, it's too. It's too extreme. And, and have you noticed? Yeah, <laughs> have you noticed the coach would know straight away when he's having a shit game, and they would always take him off early. He's, it's too extreme, like, bro. It's too extreme. It's like, too extreme. Man. I don't understand how you can be such a good player and be so bad at the same time. Is that is that Eden Hazard is that bro, at um, Real? Nah, but Hazard, Hazard at Real, Hazard at Real. I don't know. I've never seen him had a really good game. I haven't seen him. That's true. Like, do a, give me yeah, like that's true. Uh, Us- Usman has had games yeah, where you've Usman been like, game where oh you my be like, days. There was one game. It was El Clasico against Real Madrid. He was tearing it apart. Yeah, I know. He, I, for me, he's one of the most frustrating players that it's I so watch. I'm like, man. you are so good, yet you are putting out two out of ten he's, he's, on purpose. He's one of those names where you would see in the team sheet and you'd be like, yeah, today is going to be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know what he can give you and you already know what he can do to defenders. But when you see him play, when he's having a stinker, you're like, fam, why is this guy even there? You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's so frustrating to watch. Okay, so... Usman Dembele, 2017, 135 M's, right? In the same transfer window, Barcelona spent another 135 M's on Philip Coutinho from your club, Liverpool, to Barcelona. Yeah, see with this Thoughts. one. You see, you <laughs> He's see your guy. We see this one, man. Bro, I Coutinho, this guy, this kid, he could have been, he could have been a generation, he could have been a legend at Liverpool. That's that's yeah. all I gotta say. That first yeah, before yeah. we continue, before I agree. We go to that bus, I, I agree. And the thing is, the thing that frustrated me so much. No, wait, I'm gonna stop you right now. He was here. No, no, listen, listen. <laughs> this kid was about to hit his prime. Like every game, yeah, I remember playing and watching this kid. He would have one thing: cut in, left, bang, go. Cut in, left. Bro, he was on his when prime. he was playing on that left wing, on the left wing, cut it on his right foot, bro. Curl it. I said, hmm. When I see when I see you Philippe Coutinho on the time sheet for for on the team sheet for Liverpool, I knew yes, W today, no matter what, W, we're winning this game. Was this the this is the season Klopp came? Yes, this is the season. So he played half. That's, the season. What, that's what I'm getting on to. And then Klopp was like, "Listen, and hear these words, right? Chat, listen." He said, "Stay at this club. They will build a statue. They will build a what? A statue under you." Or go to Barcelona and be nobody. And guess what my man did? He chose that transfer to be nobody when they could have been somebody at Liverpool and won a Champions League, win the league, and become a legend for the club. What Klopp told him. But my man was too eager to go play with Messi because Messi was flirting with my boy. I don't know, Messi has this <laughs> thing where he's be texting in boys, yo, yo, come to Barcelona. He did the same thing to Suarez, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting frustrated because it's pissing me off, man. As a Liverpool fan, I, I love Messi, but hey, you got to stop taking our players, man. But yeah, he was flirting with his boys and telling them, oh, come. And then my man, they go there, what happens to them? Nothing. They just became nobody. Do you, do you if, think that Coutinho in Klopp's system could have worked? Easily. What position does he play? Mid. Attacking. Attacking midfield. Attacking so, midfield. Bro, listen to this. You got Fabinho. Coutinho. Firmino. Mane. Salah. T- tell me. <laughs> tell You tell me a better. You tell me a better front. Yeah. Than that. Uh, whatever, Despite, whatever, Man City's front three years, bro, we or would front have, five we years. Would have, we would have run, bro. He, Arsenal's he didn't, current he didn't even. He, he, but you know what? I I have to say thank you to Barcelona for that transfer as well. You know, because with that money, what did you do with that money? With that money, we bought VVD and Allison. And guess yeah, what that got us? I'm not gonna lie. Guess what that got us, boys? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, I'm not gonna you know lie. No, I, mean? I can't lie. That was but, real but investment. For me, that transfer from Coutinho to Barcelona, bro. I don't rate. Uh, I think it was a flop. I don't. I, he he looked like he was struggling to find his feet. He looked like he he didn't belong there. I don't know. I've I've seen. I was seeing him, watching him play. Like it just didn't well, work. You both. You got both. Been um. What's his name? Dembele and Coutinho. One played right wing, I believe. The other one played left wing. Was he there with, with Dembele? They signed the same. So they signed the same year. Wow, that's crazy. They signed the same year, so they were playing together in the same Barcelona team, and that to me was just like Barcelona spending money for no real good reason. And like, when we review this list, there's a lot of money that Barcelona spent here. Like you got to think about 135 M's twice on Coutinho and Dembele in 2017. But you and know they spent you, 
120 on Griezmann yeah, in yeah, two, yeah, yeah. two years later. Now I'm going to look at that and say, where do all those players play? Because they're all not number nines. They're all, yeah, that's they're true. all not like, Dembele is a pure winger. Coutinho is a winger slash attacking attack midfielder. In midfielder. Yeah, Griezmann yeah, yeah. is also a winger slash attacking attack midfielder. Can mm. probably play in the nine as well. Like they're all very, like and I would probably they say- They also got Suarez as well a year after that. Because he was in that team as well. No, Suarez it was Suarez would have been his way out. No, he was he, no, he wasn't. Suarez Cause, left cause, in twenty fifteen. The, the year, the year that Coutinho and 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 Liverpool beat um in the Champions League, it was Suarez there. Coutinho was there. Um, Dembele was there. All these ballers were there on that team. Messi yeah. was there as yeah. well. No, no, you're you're right. Yeah, I'm you're sure, right. I'm I'm, I'm sure because because I I remember. The the Firmino and stuff going after Coutinho afterwards, you know, giving him the hand. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, yeah, you're actually all right. You're actually so, right. I remember that. I, I just, I just didn't see, it. I just didn't see it work, you know. And I'm, well, it's, it's a, it was a lot it's of money. It was a lot of money spent. A lot of money. A lot of money spent but, for. It was a lot but, of money. Spent. But at the time, at the time, it looked like the right move. No, it never looked like the right no, move. No, because he was he was playing football of, out, out of this world. I mean, again, it's a whole thing. You is know what I mean? Barcelona like, and Madrid come calling, you pick up that phone call and you say it's safe. Yeah, because you, you, when, when are you ever going to get a chance to, to, to play for them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you got... It's, you do, it's a sticky one. So obviously Hazard went to Madrid and did that. I mean, Dembele forced his move out. Coutinho got the opportunity to go and play for what, what they're calling a boyhood dream of his. Every Brazilian wants to play for like a Barcelona mm, mm, or Real Madrid. Mm, mm, they don't really want to play for Liverpool. What do they know about Merseyside? You know what I mean? But that's the thing, yeah. You see all these big players like Fernando Torres, you know, uh, Coutinho, Mane, all where, these Where big are you going with this? The ones that leave, yeah. Where, where, where do they become afterwards? You know what I'm saying? So learn your lesson, yeah, from these, from, from those. All right. Oh, the, oh, the Liverpool drama. Here we go. Try here we go. It's making it about Liverpool now. Always. Well, we're not. But, but. at number two. Now, this one here is, this is probably on this list. I probably, there's obviously got Cristiano Ronaldo, who for me is generational talent, right? This is probably the, there's probably two players on this list that I think are generational talents. And the, and the second one being um, Kylian Mbappe. So the guy that obviously loved Ronaldo growing up. Mm, From mm, Monaco mm. to PSP, 180 million euros in 2018. Now, I'm going to give you some stats here. 200 appearances, 175 goals. He won a, a bunch of league earns, um, and he also made it to the Champions League final and lost. They didn't win the Champions League in his time there. When did they lose the Champions League final? They lost it to Madrid. Was it Madrid? Last year. Yeah, they lost it to, they lost it to Madrid. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Now, are we saying it's a flop? 180 M's and obviously he left that was in 2018 so he spent what in 2024 now he spent six years there mm. six seven years there 180 M's they won a bunch of league titles he they went on a Champions League run a bunch of French Cups I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was a flop because he he, he produced what you have to produce as a you know as a PSG player and that's winning you know the, the league title the Farmers League as they call it but you could also look at it as a flop because the Arabs, what, what's their main objection is to win the Champions League. And yeah. he was trying so hard to win that. And you could see it in his, in, his, in his eyes that that's the competition that they want. You know what I mean? But it didn't quite work out for him. And he was always going to do bits in Ligue 1, no matter what. Well, he was already doing bits he, for Monaco. That's what I'm saying. He was already doing bits. He so he's always going to be able to do bits for in Ligue 1, no matter what. Because he's just playing against farmers and he's always going to break records <laughs> in that league. <laughs> Literally, he's always, he's always going to break records, you know? So for me, it's, it's I don't know. It's, he was I'm, then joined by Neymar, obviously. He I'm was then joined by um, Messi at one point. Obviously, Ibrahimovic was... Yeah, Ibrahimovic no, Ibrahimovic was, wasn't there no, with him. No, he wasn't him. there with him. Um, no. It was, what's his name? Can- Cannavaro. No, what's his name? Uh, Edison Cavani was there with him. Oh, yeah, Cavani as well. Um, yeah, it didn't quite... Or add up in Europe. Mm. They had won that amazing Champions League run where him and um, Neymar just did everything in that yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, Variety yeah. obviously had a big part to play in that. The defense was good, mm. um, but yeah, we're saying it, it was a it was a, it was a decent transfer. I'm not gonna lie. 180 M's is a lot of money, and he was a teenager at the time. Yeah, he was very very young. He went on to win the World Cup that same year mm. in in Russia at 18. So he was very young, mm. but. Um, 
what do we hear? Is it a flop? Is it not? Was it a success? It's, like it's 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 a, it's a sticky one because uh, it's not a flop. You can't it's, say it's, it's a flop. He's arguably the best player in the world. You can't be the yeah. You can't be the best player and be because at the time he just came. He, he was. He, I think he won the the, the World Cup. Yeah, he, I think he, he just won the he World Cup and then he moved that some year. To, yeah. So at the time he was arguably one of the best players in the world. He was wonder kid. He was a gener- so he was generational talent. So you can't really call it a flop, but at the same time. You you have to produce for for um, PSG and what they initially I mean, want is he did produce like, two hundred appearances. Yeah, 170. We're talking about just pure stats, and pure I'm, stats, I'm not a stats yes. merchant here. He was he play he was, had a big Im- impact on on the team. He contributed goals and assists. He did everything. I I would say maybe towards the later end, like especially last season, that Champions League run. But for me, terrible. like, but and for he, me, you see, with with Mbappe, yeah, he needs to he needs to win the the Ballon d'Or, and I in think, order, I don't no, care about the Ballon d'Or. No, but I'm saying, but in order for him to do all this and like to become the best of the best, he needs a Champions League. Is he going to get the? He's obviously in Madrid now. He may get that in Madrid. He might get that in Madrid, but we're talking about who knows the future, you know? Yeah. Best players go to bigger teams. If they flop. They can't win that. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a sticky one with that one, but it's not a flop. It's not a that's, flop. That's I don't I think it's say. a flop. Let's know what you think about Mbappe to PSG. I do not think it's a flop. You don't think it's a flop. I think it was money well spent. Even though it's 180 m's, me saying money well spent. But 180 m's is a lot of money. They man. got a lot of goals. They got a lot of marketing out of it. I mean, he was Mr. PSG. He's Mr. France now, obviously. He's the captain of the national team. But he controls that. He, 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 was, that, he, he owned PSG. He owned PSG. He yeah. owned like, PSG they, at one they point. listened to like, oh, what does Mbappe want? Mbappe wants Neymar. Get rid of Neymar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mbappe wants to let, let Messi go. Okay, we got to get him gone. Yeah. Like, Mbappe tells them what to do and they listen, fam. So he basically owned PSG, which is crazy. He is Mr. PSG. He is PSG. Let's just say that. You know what I'm, saying? I'm so, not going to say he is PSG because obviously there's some ballers there, but he basically owned PSG. But let's talk about number one. Now, for me, this is, I've been in trouble lately. <laughs> Comment sections roasted me because I said he was a top five, top nah, five I player I of all time. I, 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 I agree with you. Top three for me. I said he was a top five behind, player of all behind time. Messi. But I think that since his move, most recent move, I have a lot of, distress, not distress, I have a lot of like, what are you doing with your career? Neymar went to Bar- from Barcelona to PSG for 222 M's in 2017, which was obviously the biggest, the biggest transfer, transfer of all yeah, time. Yeah. I thought that, I thought he was an idiot for leaving Barcelona. It was MSN, they were killing it. Like, they'd, won the, cha- they'd won the Champions League. Yeah, but they, if you think about MSN, you think about that Barcelona team in 2017. If they stayed together, don't you think that he goes on and becomes like, Obviously, he didn't want yeah, to be in Messi's well, shadow, but that that Barcelona team—that's what I was thinking. I was saying that Barcelona team was getting old. No, but the thing is, if you like, the money you that the, the money that they money what that what's it called the money that they got from PSG, they invested that into Coutinho and Dembele. Yeah, but you're forgetting that Barcelona were also under under like um, what's it called financial. I don't know what they were doing with their yeah, but under debt, so they had to let. They let did him not go. have to sell they, Neymar. They had to let they him go. They did not have to sell Neymar. They they had, Neymar they is a generational talent. The one that they had to let go was Messi because they couldn't afford his wages. They couldn't afford his pay. Yeah, that, right. I, I can, and that's that's COVID had something to do with it. I can understand that one there, but Neymar, you do not let Neymar leave. In he's about to enter his prime. We know what he did at Santos. He was a generational kid. He was doing wonder things Bro, in Brazil. He, he comes Santos to Barcelona. It's crazy. Integral to the Champions League run when they won. Integral. That link up with Suarez and them lot there. Amazing. How do you let? Obviously, the, the money is great. Two hundred and twenty-two m's. That's fan. That's crazy money. Yeah, that's that's too much money for, for probably 222 M's for a player. That's I don't crazy. even know where a football is going because, because it's just numbers now. We're not we're not even basing it on like That was the, in 2017. Yeah. The most recent transfer is, is less than half the price. It's half the price. Nah. Enzo was 121 M's. That was last year. Now, this that's not happening. No one is going for that much this year. Maybe Usman, then maybe not. Here, maybe here's um, my question: Are players Osman. really worth that much money? For me, the transfer doesn't. The, my number no longer matters. 
You reckon? So we, we could just well, be, we could just be putting out numbers like, oh, I want, I the want number, Mbappe no, for five hundred mil. Let, number, let me just no pay that. No longer matters because if you can just balance your books with this new system, like some, like you've seen some kids, some random kids are going for like sixty million. So basically, and like we're, they're doing like trades, like it's the NBA and so NFL. We're, we're, shit. we're playing FIFA in real life now, boys. This is manager it's, career. It's, it's, it's always been football shit. manager. It's always been like, football oh, manager. That's crazy, man. Obviously, the inflation goes up, the price tag goes up, but like you think about like. Like Enzo signed for 121 M's mm. in the same window. Chelsea went and spent shit loads of money, yeah, like yeah, a billion yeah, yeah. dollars. Like a billion dollars, yeah, you're so right. Like Firm. a billion pounds. But, but so. the thing is, yeah, Chelsea was smart because they were doing that with contracts. They were giving them long contracts, so it doesn't. No, look, but that's just wages. The wages saying, are cheap. Though, but you have to do that because but, you can't sign more players if you're gonna give them three years. If you're gonna spend that much money, you gotta make sure you have to do it over a couple of years, um, yeah, like I seven, hear eight years. But do Which we, is crazy. Do you ever do you think that this record's going to be broken anytime soon? Two twenty two M's. No, not anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, I don't think so. I either. don't think so. There's, for me, there's no apart from maybe Mbappe. But Mbappe just he, he was just he's gone got, for free, he's, and he and he's got where he wanted to boss. go. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. He, he's just going to be a Madrid chilling now. Like, there's no player who Jude is not going to go anywhere for near that much. Well, Jude about, is already like, gone. To Vinicius said they're, they're all at the club that mm. they want to be at. That's and to, spend and that to be money. honest, all, the only teams that spend money are PSG and Madrid and Man City. They're the ones that are out here breaking records. Well, Man City got 515 charges on their on their on their table. Chelsea spend money. Chelsea like Chelsea spend money. Yeah, but you see, Chelsea they spend money, but they they spend money stupidly. Oh, yeah, 100%. Don't they spend wrong. money stupidly. Don't, they don't they just wrong. they just see, okay, who does Arsenal want to buy? Yeah, we'll go buy that guy. Yeah, who does uh, Man City want to buy? Yeah, yeah, we'll take him too. They, 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 I don't even know what they just, they, they're called the transfer FC winning team. Have you noticed that? They win transfers. They've always been transfer windows. They win transfers, but it's but, but, but Neymar, Neymar to, to PSG for me, that one, that one, ah, it's a sticky one. I think that one's a, it's a, so we're saying it's a, it's a flop. It's a flop. It's a flop. I for don't me. think it's a flop. It's a flop. I don't think it's it, a flop. I think 112, it's a flop. 112 appearances, 82 goals. Yes, I'm talking about stats here. No, but, but I'm you, saying as a player, for you, me, he's a generational but, talent. But when you he think had, about it, he was an elite footballer at yes, PSG. But he, he, but the yes. thing is, he already won everything there was to win. Yes, but you can't go but and say so, he's a flop. He so won the him, league. For him going to win the the league, uh, it's just him. I hear you. No, I, I, <laughs> you know hear, what I, mean? I hear like, what you're saying. So it, for him, he was just, I think he was just there it, money. So I, I need to take care of my of family. Course, of course, obviously. Like, you know what I mean? Because you're forgetting with that, with that, with that transfer alone, he also, he also, his family got money out of it as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. It like was, it was just a crazy, like I think his family got about 120 mil or something uh, it's, like it's, that. Like it's, it's some crazy is, amount. His dad's a finesse. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, for him, it was a, it was, it was a success, but for PSG, I think for me it was a flop because they, they literally bought him so he can go and play with Messi, Neymar and Mbappe just so they can win the Champions League. That's how I see that one. Yeah, I, like, do you, I, I, do you, I, don't I don't say it's a flop, but I also don't say it was a success because they didn't get the Champions League win. Obviously, but that's what they want because name me another team that is competing for League 1 right now. Or when, you go, when we go do our league predic- prediction for League 1, who do you? Who do no, you? PSG who do you, have to win it. You know what I mean? Like PSG have to win it. So it's like me, Bayern. Else, it's like Bayern. Bayern, else, Bayern have to win it. <laughs> this is why. This is why they can't. They can't do. They ha- they can't even win the champ because they have no. They have no competition in their league. They have competition crowd. Really. Yeah, but it's it's, it's, it's bro. You're playing. You're, I know you're, what you're saying. You're know, playing I, against Montpellier. I, you're playing. I know against what you're saying. All these teams, Nice. I know bro. what you're saying, but. Uh, so are it's, we are we honestly saying that Neymar was a flop at PSG? Yes, for me it's I can't, a flop. I can't stand on business and say that because it's, it's I have flop. said that he's a top five player of all he, time. He is a top five player of all time, but don't get me wrong, he he didn't. I don't know, man. He didn't really it didn't really work for me at PSG. Well, crowd, you let us know what you think of Neymar at PSG. I'm gonna run through this list from ten down to one. Ronaldo was at number 10, Grealish at number 9, Griezmann at number 8, Eden Hazard at number 7, Enzo Fernandez at number 6, Jao Felix at number 5, Usman Dembele at number 4, Philip Coutinho at number 3, Mbappe at number 2, and the most expensive signing in football history is Neymar 
at number one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Let us know what you thought of our thoughts and feedback on each transfers, who flopped, who succeeded, who was the X factor, who contributed in all facets of the game. I have been denied. This has been Khaled. This has been Let Him Shoot TV. The final whistle. We are out. Peace. Peace.